Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and today I'm doing a little weekend vlog because you guys have been asking for some vlogs and I know I've said that I'm gonna start doing a Living Alone Diaries so consider this weekend vlog as part of that. So today's Friday, I just came back from the gym. I'm gonna wash my hair and sleek it and then I have a quick meeting at five. And then I'm gonna get ready because I'm going to a candlelight concert. I'm so excited uh, because I don't know if you guys have seen them, but they invited me over and I'm looking very much forward to it. So me and my cousin are going to a candlelight concert and then tomorrow I'm gonna go on another 5K run with the running club. If you don't know what I'm talking about, head over to my TikTok or my Instagram reels to find out what, what I've been doing every Saturday morning. <laughs> I'm kind of in a rush and I also need to eat. I'm so hungry. But I was doing one more thing. Oh yeah, Sunday I'm going, hopefully if we have time because I'm working at 4.30. But um, yeah, me and my friend are going for a nice little nature walk. So just thought I'd vlog my weekend and take you guys with me. Don't expect too much activity because me, I'm still very much a homebody. But I thought, let's just go outside, chill vibe, and take you guys with me on a vlog. Anyways, I'm in a rush. I'm gonna wash my hair. Also, can we just appreciate this cute little hairstyle? If you wanna know how I did this, I will do a tutorial if you guys want it. It's not that hard, but it's probably just the parting that's hard. But my scalp is just so sensitive. And if you know me, like from my childhood times, my mom used to love doing this hairstyle on me. Um, and the back was obviously out. I just put it in a bun now because I was in a gym. But yeah, I'm gonna take out these parts and wash my hair and sleek it because I'm thinking of wearing a very simple dress. Like, you know, like the long skims dress? It's a dupe from Shein, so I'm gonna wear that. Either with some trainers or some boots, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I just want a nice sleek little look and do a little bit of makeup. Might even do a red lip if I'm feeling it. But can we just talk about how much my hair has grown? I know it looks crazy because it was just in a uh, bun, but my hair has grown a lot. I'll get back to you guys when I'm getting ready for the candlelight concert. Hey guys, so it is 5.30 right now, 5.35. I am starving, so I'm gonna have some food and then I'm gonna get ready. Just finished working, had one more meeting to wrap up and yeah, got showered, I washed my hair. I tried to do a little messy bun moment with some like, pieces of hair sticking out. I don't know if it actually works. And I put some two pieces at the front and I've just pinned it down with a bobby pin to make sure it lays, it dries down flat basically. What do we think of this hairstyle guys? I don't know if I like the front pieces. I'm thinking very minimal makeup. Either minimal or just like a very clean, like just no eyeshadow, just a wing, maybe even a cheeky red lip moment. And also, I can't show you guys right now because the camera is leaning on it, but I finally got the Tati Cluster Lashes from TikTok Shop, so I'm really excited. If I'm not in a rush, I'm gonna try them out. So yeah, let me go eat now, and then hopefully I can get to try them out and show you guys. Hey guys, I don't know why, but for some reason, I thought I had a lot more time to get ready. I just had dinner, also I'm in a food coma, but anyways, it's 6.30, I need to leave in an hour. I wanted to do the cluster lashes and I wanted to do my makeup. I think I'm just gonna have to do my makeup and leave the cluster lashes for tomorrow. Also, I don't know if I should do my makeup. I kind of feel like I do want to take pictures though, so that's why I wanted to do my makeup. Especially if I'm wearing a dress. I think I'm gonna leave the cluster lashes for tomorrow and just do my makeup quickly now. Guys, I literally did this makeup look in like 30 minutes. I'm so proud of myself. Um, I basically did my base with Mascara only, no lashes. Yeah, I actually kind of like how this looks, but I do feel like this suits like a casual look more. I guess it's perfect because the dress that I'm wearing is like the Skims dupe, like I said. You can dress it up or dress it down, and I think I'm gonna dress it down anyways because these candlelight concerts, I feel like people go there quite like casual dressed, so I don't wanna be overdressed. <laughs> And also it's cold outside, so I'm not trying to be cold. I'm literally just going there for content and to enjoy it. But after that, we're coming straight back home again because I've got a run to go to tomorrow morning. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, this is the look. Also, guys, this top, Skims Dupe from Shein as well. I love it. Only this one, 
has got a little hole in it. I don't know if it's the quality or if something got stuck to it, but I ordered a black one as well and I love how they fit. They're so comfortable. The fit is so nice and I'm definitely gonna get more colors. But yeah, anyways, this is not sponsored by Shein, so we're not gonna promote it too much, but I just wanted, I didn't wanna gatekeep because I know I'm gonna get questions about it. But yeah, let's get dressed. Okay guys, my Uber is literally waiting downstairs. Quick fit check. Dress is from Shein, trench coat is from Zara, jewelry is from Shein, shoes are dunks, and that's about it. Um, if you wanna see the detailed outfit of tonight, go over to TikTok, I did a little TikTok for that. But oh my God, I'm running late, so let's go. Hey guys, we just made it to the Candlelight concert. It hasn't started yet, but it already looks so beautiful. I'm so excited. But we're not allowed to record during the concert. Ten out of ten. Period. Hey guys. We just came back from the candlelight concert. It was actually cute, it was actually a vibe. I think it's definitely a date night. Period. <laughs> there were so we many couples, man. and it was just me, me and my girl. <laughs> single as hell. Those single lives, but it was still fun. It was still cute. Um, but yeah, definitely date night recommendation. It's, it's a vibe. Buying some snacks. I low key want biscoffs. Biscoffs cookies. These are my favorites. Mm. What should I get? I think, you know, when you're hungry and everything just looks good? Guys, favorite noodles. I can eat these every day. What else are we getting? Hi, Cheeto! Yo, my guy, you gotta come greet me. How are you? Come here. Oh, wait, my knee. Bro, I'm. Oh, hey! <laughs> Yo, my knee's not fit no more. Hi, Chiti. Hello, my lovely. Hello, no, my lovely. Don't do that again. Hello, my lovely. Don't do that again, Chiti. <laughs> We're going on a 5K run tomorrow morning, but this is the night before. <laughs> Snacks for days. I know I had dinner earlier, but I'm still feeling hungry. So we're gonna make some noodles. <laughs> this is looking so good. So juicy, hot, and steamy. Oh my god, this is exactly what I needed. It's literally freezing outside. I usually like to fry an egg with it, but because I already had dinner, I'm not doing that now. This is just a little late night snack. Good morning, guys. It is, what time is it? 8.32 a.m. We meet at 9.15 and we start running we're supposed to start running at 9.30, but we usually start at like 9.45. But yeah, I'm feeling all right. Um, I'm a little bit tired. These early mornings, they just don't get easy. They just don't. But I've got my coffee. I don't tend to have breakfast before my run because I just get a stitch so quick, so easily. So I just have a coffee and call it a day, which probably isn't good, but if I want to have breakfast, I'm going to have to wake up at like 6 a.m. and eat. And I'm already not a huge breakfast person, so coffee it is. This is hitting right now, oh my god. Anyways, the weather is looking good, but I'm not getting deceived because I know it's freezing outside. I checked the weather app, it was like 3 or 4 degrees, so it's going to be freezing. I think I'm going to wear a hoodie over my usual running fit and then just take it off if I get hot but yeah it's it's really cold outside anyways I'm gonna finish my coffee and I'll catch you guys when I'm at the run ready for the run right side right side good morning good morning <laughs> Three, 
No one gets left behind. No one gets left behind. All right then, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you should come in on this big five. <laughs> yeah, but I can't do a five K. You can do two K. Yeah. yeah. There he is. I can't do two K. What can I do if I can't do two K? What can I do if I can't do one K? They can walk. Yeah. Yes. Guys, that's how you invite people. Not yo, yo, come, man. It's all right. Herman said to go. No. Yeah, it's not a Herman show. I don't know everyone. We need you guys to speak confidently and represent in the right manner. So we get all of this. Yeah. So guys, one more time. No one gets left behind for the newbies. One, two, three. No one gets left behind. Come to Maid Reading every Saturday. Yes, yes. 9.15. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm in the vlog today, man. Come on, done business. We're in the vlog today. We've got people out here doing their things. We've got a bit of kids out here. Come on, my peoples. Nice. Does my hair look nice? Yeah, it does. Good. Proper. Yes, guys, get your fives up. Get your fives up. I'm actually vlogging today. One influencer just dropped a phone on me. You got me locked in, man. Made running. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody, you know the drill. Made running on free. One, two, three. I said made running on free. One, two. Yes, made, made running. running. Link oh. below, everything below. Yeah. You get me? Don't need to sign up. Come on. Up. Mm -hmm. and yeah. You did it. We did a 5K. Well, I could. I'm not She's injured, but I could do a 5K. And I hit my personal record, so I'm very much happy. I actually don't fall. Hey guys, wow, my lips are ashy. Where is my oh, um. Hey guys, um, it's been a few hours. <laughs> What's the time? I think it's nearly four. Yeah, it's literally five minutes to four. After the run, we just chilled, had breakfast. I fell asleep on the sofa. Well, first my cousin fell asleep on the sofa while we were watching the Chunks and Philly podcast and then I fell asleep too. Um, and yeah, and then we were looking at holidays because we're trying to book a girls trip But anyways, it's 4 p.m. Now I'm going to shower and I'm not gonna wash my hair because I washed it yesterday But I obviously sleeked it with gel. So I'm just gonna rinse it with water But to be fair, I'm gonna sleek it again even after rinsing it So I don't know yet. I'll figure out what I do with my hair But after that I am gonna film a skincare tutorial because almost exposed my address. My package is here, my skincare package. I ordered my skincare from Stalvana, which is like a Korean skincare website, but it takes like a good two to three weeks to get here. So I wasn't sure if I could film my skincare today. And I'm also gonna try out my Tati Lashes. I'm gonna do a TikTok review of that. And maybe I'll do a YouTube video. I, don't, I just don't feel like I should do a whole dedicated video on it for YouTube. So I'll probably just include it in this vlog as well. Let me unbox this actually. Let me unbox this skincare package for you guys. I actually did a big skincare shop today. And I ordered some new pieces as well that I'm really excited to try out. Pore Control Cleansing Oil. This is from Anu a brand called Anua. This is all Korean skincare. This is actually something I saw on TikTok. This is what it looks like. And it's a pore cleansing oil. And then I also got this CoSRX 
salicylic acid cleanser. If you've been following me for a few years, you know that I used to have quite some acne on my forehead. And I used to use like all these really harsh skincare products trying to get rid of the acne, which only made it worse. So one day I just decided to stop with all the acids and chemicals and everything and I just used um, Neutrogena Hydro Boost, that line. Just the cleanser and a moisturizer and SPF, nothing else. And that really kind of helped with restoring my skin barrier and just focusing on hydrating and moisturizing my skin and that really helped with reducing my acne. Now that I've like, I've repaired my skin basically, I'm slowly starting to incorporate like chemical exfoliants again. So I have a AHA, BHA, PHA toner from this brand, this Korean skincare brand as well. I've been really liking it. And then I got the glycolic acid toner from The Ordinary. I'm looking this way because my bathroom's there and I'm looking at my skincare products. But yeah, I've got the glycolic acid toner from The Ordinary. I literally got it last week, so I've been only using it like once or twice. I used to use it, like I said, I used to use all these really harsh products and The Ordinary one is quite harsh. So I'm really trying to only use it once a week, once or twice a week max. As I was saying, now that I've finally repaired my skin, I'm trying to focus on reducing my texture again because I still have quite some it's really not as bad anymore so I don't really want to sound ungrateful or anything but I still have texture on my skin so I'm trying to reduce that texture by using things like salicylic, salicylic acid so this one is from CoSRX which I use their snail mucin uh, moisturizer and essence as well so this is a daily gentle cleanser so even though it's got salicylic acid you should be able to use this every day which I won't use it every day straight away because I feel like my skin is used to the gentle cleanser like the Fenty skin cleanser that's what I've been using for almost two years now I think so yeah this um, I'm gonna slowly incorporate it into my skincare and this pore control cleansing oil is very gentle of course I love cleansing oils and cleansing balms so I'm really excited to try this out as well and then I stocked up on my usuals I thought I bought two of these and I thought I also bought the essence but I don't think I did which is not that great because I'm, I'm almost running out of it CoSRX snail mucin cream love this stuff love this moisturizer so 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 much it works so well with my skincare routine i do top it off with my skin food weleda skin food light um just to make sure my cheeks aren't too dry but in the summertime this is enough um and then my two favorite serums from beauty of Joseon. this is the glow deep serum with rice and alpha arbutin and this is the glow serum with propolis and niacinamide i have no idea how to pronounce these ingredients wow why did i get three cleansers <gasps> wow and you know what's annoying like i can't even return this i think the returns are a long process i don't know why i got three cleansers i must have done this by accident but yeah i got another cleanser this one's from beauty of Joseon. this is the green plum refreshing cleanser uh, this is a low pH cleanser with a bouncy gel texture. I'll probably, after I finish the Fenty Skin one, I'll probably move to this one and then use the salicylic acid cleanser. Like, I'll use these two every other day probably. Um, and the cleansing oil, I usually use cleansing oils and cleansing balms when I'm wearing makeup only. And when I wear makeup, I always double cleanse anyway. So I do a cleansing oil and then a cleanser. But yeah, I don't know why I ordered three types of cleansers. That was not what I meant to do, I think. Anyways, I'm going to get in the shower. And then I'm going to film a skincare routine. And then I'm going to film a Tati Lashes review for TikTok. So I've got quite some filming to do. And I also need to finish editing a cooking video. I made some stir-fry noodles with shrimp. So if you want to see how I make that go check out that video should be live by the time this one's live um, but yeah I need to finish editing that video as well I also have so much footage that I need to edit for like TikTok and Reels I just have all this footage in my phone and ugh, I just hate editing guys I hate editing so much I literally have so many TikToks for Malaga I went on a solo trip to Malaga I didn't vlog it for YouTube because I didn't want to carry around my camera and I don't know I was on a solo trip 
So I decided I'll just do like some TikToks. I'll just record everything, what I'm doing on my day today and edit it for TikTok, but I've not done it and I've been back for a whole month. I also have a skincare TikTok video that I filmed that I've not edited. I've got a lip combo video that I filmed and not edited for TikTok. I've got a YouTube black event that I attended in November that I've not edited still. <laughs> I'm looking at my um, whiteboard with like all my videos that I need to edit and that I need to film and it's got a lot on it. <sighs> I need like a whole weekend, which I'll probably do it next weekend to be fair. Next weekend I'm just gonna spend the whole weekend editing and not filming. Even though like I'm complaining about editing, I'm really happy that I'm back in my content bag and that I'm back in like feeling creative. Um, because if you know, you know that last year and the year before I was really struggling to stay consistent on YouTube and on socials. So I'm really, really happy about that. I'm also seeing lots of growth on my YouTube and my Instagram. So it kind of feels like the hard work is paying off. So yeah, fingers crossed, you guys. I really, really, really want to do this. Like, I want to do this. I want to say I've tried. I don't want to give up now. I want to be able to say I've tried my best, I've worked the hardest that I could to achieve this dream to do social media full time and it just didn't work out rather than me giving up now and I'm regretting it later. So yeah, this year is to trying my best, working hard, staying consistent and hopefully it will pay off. Either way, I appreciate all you guys' support because all the sweet messages that I get, all the comments under my videos, it all means so, so, so much to me. Anyways, done with being emotional, let's get into the shower, wash my hair, and do my skincare. I realized as I was in the shower, like, hey, I didn't see my SPF in there. And I just checked my order confirmation, and I just didn't order SPF. When that was like one of the main reasons I decided to do a big skincare order. So yeah, anyways, I ordered my SPF off Amazon, even though it's pricier, but I just want it to come quick. It's only a few pounds difference anyway, so it's gonna arrive on Monday, so I'm gonna do my skincare video then. But the skin is looking juicy. I did try my new cleanser. Um, not sure how I feel about it, the Co Co SRX. I don't even know how you pronounce that brand, but the Snail Mucin brand. So I got their salicylic acid cleanser. My skin did feel very clean, but I feel like I expected it to be a little bit more gentle, so I think I'm gonna only use it once a week. I think that's more than enough. I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far. I feel like this vlog is a little bit all over the place, but then again, that's how I feel every time I vlog. And yeah, I don't know. This is my life, guys. This, I'm just taking you guys with me on a day today on my weekend, so yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because why would you not support your girl? Come on now. And also give this video a thumbs up to help the algorithm. Leave a comment down below. Follow me on the socials. All that stuff. Everything's in this description box, you guys. Anyways, let's get to filming. I need to film this Tati Lashes review. It's not a sponsored post, by the way. I bought it with my own money, money and I just want to try it out. So yeah, let's try them out. Hey guys, so I just got my lashes done. Actually, I just did them myself and oh my god you guys. I'm actually obsessed like look how good they look I'm I'm actually like Shocked I didn't expect it to look this good if you know me. I'm a strip lash girl I'm not a huge fan of lash extensions Not even because of how they look I like the way they look but it's more like the maintenance for me I hate like not being able to wash my eyes um, and also I like to sleep with a sleeping mask on so that's actually one of the main reasons why I don't get my lashes done. Besides the fact that you have to maintain them, like the maintenance, they're very high maintenance in my opinion. I don't like walking around with gappy lashes, so if I get my lashes done, I would want to get them refilled every two weeks. And who's paying like 40, 50 pounds every two weeks? In this cost of living crisis, I'm not spending 100 pounds a month on lashes. So this, I love this. I actually feel like that girl right now. I'm obsessed. I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder. <laughs> I'm gonna finish up editing my cooking video, which is gonna be up tomorrow, or actually, by the time I upload this video, that video is gonna be up already, so make sure to check it out. I have an early morning tomorrow because I'm going to church, so 
I'm gonna try to get an early night in tonight but having said that it's 7 30 I haven't had dinner yet and I still need to edit my video anyways I just wanted to show you guys my lashes the next time you see me is probably tomorrow morning when we're going to church and then for a hike I am vlogging with my phone tomorrow morning or tomorrow just because I'm going straight to work after so I don't want to take my camera to work but yeah this is the look video is ready make sure to check it out you guys I know this is quite like a basic video and it's only five minutes but I still would appreciate your support very very much so make sure to check it out and also let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want me to post next guys I've been reading this book a little life for the past almost two hours put on some jazz in the background on the TV and I've just been reading this book I'm finally 200 pages in this is such a hard read it's really hard to get into especially because you have to keep reminding yourself in which perspective the writer is writing the story in um, because it doesn't tell you but by the way it's written you will know which character it is basically but it's a really hard book to get into it's very detailed as well the vocabulary is way beyond my vocabulary 200 pages in and i'm finally getting into the story now properly let me know if you guys have read this book because also i found out about this book through tiktok and i saw that everyone was crying about it like literally throughout reading the whole book and i'm just like i'm 200 pages in and i still have not cried it's sad though, don't get me wrong, it is very sad, but I've not cried. The story is good though, but it's just, it takes a while to get into. On our way to church. Okay guys, we are running late. We're gonna try out these star face patches. Because we've got an ugly spot. We've been waiting for you. Looks like I'm a kid with a random sticker on my face. I didn't think anyone would okay. <laughs> paint. We made it to the park, but it's very, very muddy. Oh, this is not that bad. Yeah. You were better off walking in here. <laughs> Anyways, cute little nature walk. Girls taking us to Narnia. Little Sunday brunch. Hey guys, so it is actually Monday morning. I didn't get to film an outro to the vlog yesterday because I was working and I got home really late and then I was just on the phone. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I feel like it was quite an eventful weekend, maybe. I know I didn't vlog that much yesterday, it's just because I was in church and then me and my friend went for a nice little nature walk and yeah, we were just talking, we were just having deep conversations so I didn't really feel like taking out my camera and then vlogging randomly, so yeah. Um, and then after that we went for brunch and went straight to work, so yeah, I didn't get to vlog that much yesterday, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend vlog anyways, and if you want to see more vlogs, let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any other video ideas, let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you get updated every time I upload. Last but not least, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Lillian Tech Guy. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for your support. It really means the world to me. God bless you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!